Hello friends, this is Raj Sastri from Raj Option Trading. Today is March 28, 2022. Let's take a look at stocks with a heavy insider as well as institutional buying. As many of you know, when insiders and institutions buy their own stock, that indicates a turning point you know, in the stock's uh, move. Normally when the stocks are down and when the insiders are buying or institutions are buying or both, that's when stocks will start trying to turn around and go higher. So what we'll do is we'll look at stocks with the heavy institutional and insider buying with volume more than 500K. These are very liquid stocks. And first let's look at stocks with the price more than $10. So these are a little more stable stocks, not too volatile. So we'll look at stocks with the heavy insider buying as well as heavy institutional buying. And then we'll uh, look at the low price stocks. I know many of you love low, low price stocks. Let's look at low price stocks and we'll follow same methodology. Let's look at stocks with the heavy insider buying and then let's look at stocks with the heavy institutional buying. And we'll also look at some good financials to make sure companies are rock solid and they're not going to go away. So with that, let's jump in. Look from a stock news perspective, we got futures uh, almost flat to slightly higher. You know, this can change as we go forward. And look, oil is down slightly, that's always good. And 10 year treasury is slightly down. And we got uh, futures are flat as we talked about. And there's a big week of uh, economic data kickoff. And some folks are worried because uh, Treasury yield curve inverted on um, uh, today and it's raising some concerns. The five-year note uh, is uh, more than 30-year yield. It's slightly more. Uh, it's not a huge concern, but some folks are concerned. In the meantime, the main yield curve, which is a uh, two-year and 10-year, that's remained uh, pretty okay so far. No big deal there. And Wall Street firms are uh, expecting a 50-point rate hike when the Fed meets. Fed meets every six weeks or so. They met back in uh, March 20, March 14, 15, and we can expect a meeting sometimes in uh, you know May time frame. We'll see how it goes. So typically, folks are worried about a 50 basis point rate hike, which can bring some uh, volatility back to the market. So with that, let's uh, jump in. Look, now first we'll talk about stock with the heavy insider buying and these are the stocks with the price more than $10. Look, all the stock price is more than $10 as you can see here. And we also have both insider and institutional buying. Look, all these stocks have got nice and high insider buying. Insiders are buying their own stocks. And I also made sure institutions are not selling. If it's institution here, institution uh, institutions also buying or keeping quiet that's a positive indication and then we got uh, sales and sales growth as you can see here i want to make sure sales and sales growth and gross margin are pretty good and positive that's why that's that helps you to basically remove the weak links and go after solid ones and then you got net margin net margin will tell you if the companies are profitable there are a few companies with nice net margin those could be the better bets and then you got rsi or relative strength index that tells you if the stock is sold off or it's uh, pretty hot at this time anytime you see uh, rsi less than 50 that tells you stock is sold off if it is more than uh, 60 it's uh, you know it's overbought at these levels better to wait slightly and then we got here uh, current ratio current ratio will tell you uh, if the company has got enough money to meet short-term financial obligations anytime current ratio is more than one it's always a good story and you know sometimes banks and insurance companies they got current ratio zero I would uh, you know I would not worry too much about that and then we got here price to sales ratio that tells you if the stock is uh, you know too hot you know from a valuation perspective anytime it's more than 10 i will be a little concerned and then we got your short that tells you the folks are shorting the stock and short sellers are breathing down its neck we got many stocks with a nice and high short ratio that could be a candidate um, for stock to go higher especially when insiders are buying 
and finally we got uh, you know the performance here one day all the way to five year that will give you a good idea how the stock has been doing in the past and what it might do i love the stock places where stocks are slightly going higher in the near term that tells you um, you know they are squeezing the shorts as an example if you look at you here high short ratio and you're trying to squeeze those shorts in a near term five day ten day those are the good candidates if the stock has gone up high, you know more for example warby parker it already went up by 38 percent in last 10 days rsi is 59 i would be i would wait slightly and then buy when it drops off a little bit and then we got few more here we got uh, you know how much stock is off from its 52 week high if the stock is off more than 10 percent that means the stock is in a correction territory and then finally you know i love uh, to look at the financials look we got cash and free cash flow off late wall street does not have patience for money losing companies that's why i look at both cash as well as cash flow some companies as you can see here have got nice cash cushion like slf here it's um, sun life look at the cash they got nine billion dollars and free cash flow is negative as you can see here and we got a few more with a lot of cash as you see here look we got peloton right here a lot of cash in the balance sheet um, stock is trying to turn around as you see here rsi is 55 that tells you middle of the road i would wait slightly and then buy by, uh, peloton and then finally we got altman z score altman z score will tell you if the company is going to make it and it's not going to go bankrupt anytime you see altman z score over on 1.8 those are the solid companies you don't need to worry about bankruptcy and finally we got overall score here overall score will take a take a consider take into consideration the valuation the profitability um, as well as uh, um, the margins um, and, and and financials of course higher the score the better and we got one company here inside pharma inside look it's got a perfect score of 100 i like it so i think it's a good one stock is responding nicely trying to go higher right now rsi is 72 i think we should wait here we talked about this maybe a month ago when the rsi was low that's the best time to buy now it is slightly higher and then you got a few more with slightly higher um, overall score like slf here slightly higher score you could take a look at that one also even in this scenario stock has moved on here i would uh, wait slightly and we got one more here energy transfer partner with a high score you could look at that one also <clears throat> so with that uh, as you can see here we got a nice insider and institution buying here look um, you know these are uh, very very heavy inside institution buying what i would generally do is i would give more importance uh, to rsi less than 50 for example we got enfn very low rsi just 38 stock has been dropping off uh, big time as you see here one day 10 day it's all dropping off big time even it's dropping off in you know from 52 week high they got some cash negative cash flow um, minus you know 18 million dollars negative cash flow here nice altman z score so i would slowly start putting some money here it's a 12 dollar stock as you can see here uh, you could slightly put some money here this can turn around given it's sold off completely and financially altman z score perspective it's not going out of business here nice uh, 3.4 um, uh, score here and they do have some sales as you can see here 69 million um, dollar in sales and uh, relatively low market cap 821 uh, million so i would you know slowly start putting some money here and watch how it goes uh, it's uh, you know right now it's uh, sold off big time as you can see here and as you scan through here we got uh, you u is also okay uh, to look at mainly because rsi is still low it's below 50 and stock has shown some conviction to go higher as you can see here still it's low you could uh, take a look at this one also then as you know look uh, down here keep watching the rsi levels we got one more here uh, six uh, stitch fix here same story stock is uh, slowly responding you could uh, put some money here also look insiders are buying big time as you see here institutions are also buying buying stock is uh, slowly responding in the 10 days it's up one percent i would put money in such situations um, and go from there and then we got few more here look we got flnc gitlab and freshwork 
all the scenarios rsi is especially first two here rsi is lower just 48 and uh, like nice inside institution buying as you can see here and stock has responded responded too heavily here uh, so i would be slightly careful here like you can put some money i'll be a little bit careful because stock has gone up so much so quickly here <clears throat> and then we got a few more here keep watching the rsi levels uh, we got one more here uh, atus this one uh, is rsi still low you could take a look at this one also this has got a lot of um, free cash flow positive company <clears throat> you, you know the problem is uh, uh artman z score is less than 1.8 i would uh, rather pass this up unless you are a uh, you know contrarian and uh, you want to put some money here all right so we got uh that's pretty much here perigo is uh, you know one more good one but this one has never made money to investors even in five year time frame but if you're a contrary you could put some money in perigo it's a good stock i can see that going higher but look it's a uh, turn of respond in a uh, three month time frame 10 day time frame slightly higher it can also go higher all right so next we got here stocks with the heavy institutional buying you know these are the stocks where institutions are buying and insiders are not selling and stock price more than ten dollars look at the institution buy here all nice and high that means institutions are buying in the meantime insiders also are buying they are not selling so that's why we got nice institutional buy also it's sorted by institutional buy uh, we got stocks with the high institutional buy on the top here <clears throat> follow same methodology i will not go through them in detail as you can see here price is more than uh, ten dollars all these stocks are have price more than ten dollars and keep watching you know the vital numbers uh may most importantly what the rsi if the rsi is low like uh E and FN here, and uh, two more here. You could uh, take a look at those ones here. <clears throat> if the stock has gone up so quickly, like first two, uh, sec second, and third here, I would not put my money right away. I would wait for a slight. Um, pull down here um, and I think uh, GitLab could be okay it's been down big time here you could put some money here and you know as usual keep watching here we got two more here um, Bosch and ABR I like Bosch very much it's a nice uh, eye care company look it's a uh, dropping down here uh, in a one day and five day and uh, nice institutional buy uh, 21 percent i would be putting some money over here and then you got abr you could uh, put money here also as you can see here abr nice uh, five year growth here 240 uh, percent performance nice overall score i like it and uh, stock is uh, not responding yet so it's the best time to put some money here uh, because uh, stock is still down you could still put some put your money here this can respond positively as you go forward you know keep watching as you go forward rsa levels here we got one more with the low rsi ahco you could uh, put some money over here also here the only problem is that you got to be a contrary in here given uh, stock has uh, not done well in the past but it's trying to respond positively in a 10 day time frame as you can see here that's why you could uh, put some money here <clears throat> and keep watching rsa levels here we got few more with low rsi look we got columbia uh, xm and uh, serapta you know all with the low rsi you could so put, so put your money there higher the overall score the better for example colb that could be a better one here as well as uh, serapta nice and very high score you could put some money there this can also go higher and as you scan through here we got one more here uh, keep watching the rsi levels we got few more with lower rsi you could look at those also all right now let's look at uh, heavy insider buying and institutional buying and price less than ten dollars many of you want to trade uh, these stocks with the you know uh, price less than ten dollars we could look at such stocks and see what are the better ones so with that let's jump in here look we got the list here 
all the stocks have got price uh, less than ten dollars uh, low price stocks as you call it and look insiders are buying heavily look at the insider buying here in the meantime institutions are not selling you know they are either buying or keeping quiet in this scenario mostly they are also buying and we got sales and sales growth as usual and keep watch keep a watch at the RSA levels lower the better and also look at the overall score because these are low price stocks score is typically lower because uh, it's uh, very hard Hard to uh, you know rank these low price stocks that's why score is typically lower but higher the better I say double digit is uh, good so with that let's uh, keep uh, take a look at few of those here look we got few with the lower uh, RSI levels here both uh, uh, e EVLV and PASG here low price stocks um, and look uh, you know the first one EVLV is responding nicely in five day uh, up nicely I would uh, wait a little bit let it cool off here and we got one more here which is uh, PASG three dollar stock as you can see here very low market cap just 171 million dollar uh, market cap here this one uh, is responding slowly with a nice uh, 2.9 percent increase in one day and you could uh, slowly put some money as a contrarian understand these are pure speculation because the uh, stock price is less than ten dollars and as you scan through here we got we got few more here um, we got BHG same story here <clears throat> low RSI uh, this one has been uh, going down 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 but overall score is pretty good here as a contrary you could put some money here look 10 dates responding slowly it's a uh, positive so that's how i would do it then you got few more here look selb it's a one dollar 38 cents stock very low market cap um, look institutions are uh, insiders are buying heavily as you can see here you could take a look at such scenarios right now very low rsi stock is sold off stock is not responding yet so you know if you're a contrarian you could put some money here otherwise you could wait for a little bit uptick i would typically wait for a little bit uptick here in a five day or ten day then put my money but if you're a contrarian you could uh, put some money here um, it's a very low market cap just 170 million dollars <throat> and we got a few more as you see here look at uh, ct KB here just nine dollar stock and it's got nice overall score 23 you know it's a uh, you know more than 20 is uh, typically okay for these low price stocks you could uh, put some money here also um, and go from there look Altman Z score 15.8 that tells you financially stable and similarly we got one more here H Y Z N here six dollar stock this has got nice uh, um, Altman Z score look more than um, 1.8 this is more stable stock is responding I would wait a little bit RSI 62 little too high for me at this time I would follow same methodology here uh, keep watching and uh, keep looking at the RSI levels here and uh, invest slowly we got two more here with the let's let's see low RSI here um, Berkeley lights as well as uh, PL uh, both of them have got lower RSI as you can see here um, Berkeley light has gone up in 10 days um, it's dropping off right now you know as it drops off you could slowly buy in here this is one of those stocks that goes up and down widely as uh, many of you know all right so keep watching RSI level some of these are a little bit high for me right now I would wait for a little bit pullback and then I would buy those now we got uh, low price stocks with the heavy institutional buying so institutions are buying as you can see here look sorted by institutional buying very high institutional buying in the meantime insiders are not selling you know they are buying or keeping quiet that tells you they're also supporting the stock and i would follow same methodology here i would look at rsi levels here look at the lower rsi candidates <clears throat> and put put my money there rsi less than or less than 50 is better as you see here we got few ones here i would also pay some importance to Altman Z score I would probably outright avoid negative Altman Z score and go with the positive as an example you could look at uh, uh, these two here at least UPH here up health um, it's a low market cap stock here just 318 million dollar market cap here and look stock is responding in 10 days and uh, RSI is 50 middle of the road and Altman Z score is positive which is uh, which is okay I like it more than 1.8 but at least it's positive and overall score is 12 which is uh, okay here 
and I would follow same methodology keep watching um, RSI level here uh, we got few more with the low RSI for example HL a bz here you could take a look at that one also and this one has got a negative ottman z score i would uh, i would not put my money in there uh, unless you are a pure contrarian or a speculator and you could keep go down here and look at few more here and uh, look at the ones with nice ottman z score and low rsi for example you got cykb we talked about this we could uh, put some money in such scenarios very 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 low rsi tells the stock is completely sold off here you could put some money here and go from there and let's just scan through here we got a few more <clears throat> follow same methodology we got uh, matterport and AM amrs both are sold off here matterport is a <clears throat> meta metaverse type play here stock is sold off big time seven dollars now hard to believe you could uh, put some money there also slowly and go from there and we got one more here zyme this is a very wild stock as many of you know here um right now i'm not too bullish mainly because artman z score is uh, less than one so that's uh, not a good story here so with that uh, let's jump in here i think probably we are done let's uh, quickly see if we have more and go from there all right thank you very much happy investing and trading um thank you